Hi guys and welcome back to my real estate channel. Today we're going to talk about disclosures. But before we jump into this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe. We share a new real estate video every single Wednesday on this channel and you don't want to miss out. So let's get started. So let's start from the beginning. Once your offer gets accepted by the sellers, we move into what is called escrow. And last week I talked about escrow and what happens during escrow. So I will link that video above. Make sure to go watch that video first so that you have some context as to where we are heading. Now what are disclosures? Disclosures are given by the sellers to the buyers pretty early on in the escrow process. Now, again, I wanna remind you that a normal escrow is about 30 to 45 days. Sometimes it's a little shorter if you're dealing with cash buyers, but typically we're gonna stay well within that range. Now, early on, you're going to receive disclosures from the sellers, and they're going to give you information about the property. Now, the sellers will also let you know whether they've been living inside of the property or whether it's been an income property for them. Those are very important things because if the seller has lived within that property, they will generally have more information about it. Now for you, the buyer, it's really important for you to learn as much as possible about the property that you are in fact purchasing. Now the sellers can give you small details um, such as maybe a leaky faucet and they can also give you more detail if they've done repairs, renovations, or even upgrades to the properties, even letting you know whether those things have been done with a permit or without a permit. Now also know that during the escrow process, as the buyer, you wanna make sure that you do your due diligence, your homework, and you can even go to, down to the city and pull permit to see what has been done on that property. Keep in mind that it's the seller's responsibility and opportunity to give you information about the property, things that they have knowledge of. Now, another thing that you wanna know is that disclosures vary by state, by city, and by county. So depending on where you are purchasing, you wanna make sure that you check with your real estate agent. We will help you with knowing which disclosures are going to be appropriate for that region that you're purchasing in. Now, another thing that you might wanna know is that if you're purchasing in California, California has the most stringent requirements when it comes to disclosures. And the law requires sellers and their listing agents to complete and sign off on more than dozens of documents that require the sellers to disclose information about their property. So hopefully this video was informative. Here is an overview of what the purpose of disclosures are. Now again, check with your real estate agent because every single region will be different in terms of the types of disclosures that they provide you with. Um, but that's all for today. Hopefully you guys get to join us next Wednesday for another video here on this channel. Bye.